guys, welcome to another video. Um, in this video we're going to be doing some comparison between Pastor GSI for Ford Escort RS2000. Um, obviously 1992, 1991. Um, it's probably about eight months between them in all fairness. Um, so we're just going to do a comparison on how well that's been maintained compared to that and what level they're at at the moment. Uh, so we'll take a look at the Escort first. So here we have her, looking rather sorry for herself, even more so now, took the wings off. Um, stripped all the interior out, so we can see what state this floor's in. Now I am actually shocked on several ways. Um, one, due to the fact I was expecting it to be absolutely rotten, which, yeah, looking at it, it does look terribly rotten. But I'm more gobsmacked at the repairs it's had done. If I did um, this kind of repair, I wouldn't have the audacity to even charge a customer for it. But, on another level, she is solid. So, really speaking, I mean, it's never going to win no beauty contest. But it is actually solid, so I sort of shocked due to the fact that it is solid but I don't know if to be pleased or not um, I mean a lot of people that MOT it flog it on as a minter all welded up but it's just not in my capacity to do that so I'm not too sure whether to I don't know really speaking it wants definitely wants um, undoing and somewhat neatening it up I mean, I also have noticed that they've actually used um, an arc welder to do the welding. I mean, take me out of them to really welding tin with an arc welder, you know. But um, obviously, I haven't gone ahead and welded, uh, put a battery on it because, well, obviously, I wanted to check the rest of it over first. And I'm kind of glad I haven't, as I've found. Um, a lot of melted wiring. So, chance out, we could have had a fire on our hands. Um, so we need to sort all this out. But obviously, as I've shown in the other picture, this seatbelt anchorage wants redoing. Also, this has been done before, but it wants doing again. Um, but again, it's it's solid. <laughs> like I say, I'm, I'm lost for words in some ways. Just, yeah. So, I mean, the gauge steel they've used is pretty good. But, uh, yeah. The rears are all good. I mean, like, everywhere underneath, I mean, even the sill. The sills are all good. Now, they're not, not pretty. They've so got some filler there by the looks of it. I don't know, probably definitely wants the doors taken off and getting that looked at. So um took the wings off just to see what current state is behind it. And again, it is actually solid. So someone has loved the car um, to be doing what they've done so far. So I take it everywhere that is um, seam sealed has been welded. Um, but I have noticed, obviously, in the previous video, um, just up inside here, it wants a plate, obviously just where the batch tray is. Also she's had copper brake pipes, but uh, that clearly wants looking at. Obviously insecure brake pipe. Now on to the passenger side. Again, it's all been plated up. Um, obviously she wants some drop links on, which they came with the car, brand new. There's about £500 pounds worth of new stuff in the car. We've had discs, pads, ball joints, track with ends, wishbone bushes, fuel tank. But yeah, all in here. It's a little bit light, but solid. And obviously, yeah, the welding's not pretty. As we can see from last time. So again, this all wants addressing so don't know what your thoughts guys do you reckon I should just 
Uh, I know. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know. It's got to be. It's got to be redone. Would you just leave it, or would you? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to leave it. Like I say the wiring all wants going through. Got more melted wiring here as well. Uh, but generally, I was shocked. Um, probably once a bit just in that bottom corner there. But yeah, I'm a bit speechless. Yes, yeah, so that's the escort. Um, the boot's full at the minute of all the stuff, but it does want two plates just in the back chassis here and then one opposite just inside there. Really speaking, I mean, if the engine runs, there's not a lot really taking it from MOT, except for generally I would want it a lot neater than that. Um, so that's the escort. So the next stage, I'm going to sort the wiring out. Um, so we don't have no fire on our hands and uh, I'm gonna see if this engine runs so I'll do another video on that so on to the Astra so to uh, make it fair I've taken the side skirts off so we can check the overall state of them as we know that this is um, gonna need some welding when you first bought it but I must say it is a lot more easier on the eye inside and you can see that it, it has been welded up in the past um, a lot neater job yeah the welds are better in here but she does need some welding um, obviously this part here is what holds the fuel lines in place so that's clearly gone Um, so more's gone here, but it's close to the chassis number, and hopefully we can get away without touching that. I would like to keep that in place. Obviously, we've got a hole here, which is very typical. Um, underneath here, it's very wet and it's very rotten. So. Obviously the dash needs to come out to replace that, so we can get all the sound dead in the night then, get all that welded. The actual inner sills, they're all nice and solid. Generally, the floor is all solid, so which is a bonus. Like I say, took the side skirts off. Yeah, it's quite a bit of filler that is. Um, it's already had sills so generally the sill on the drive side is actually solid still but needless to say the actual inner panels inner floors to sills have gone um, so no doubt the center sills have gone so we'll be chopping them off and replacing them with new so regarding the uh, passenger side now um, again you can see to here, she already had sills previously, um, and again, very solid, not pretty, as you can see, quite a lot of surface rust there. But further down, as I took it apart, someone had put fiberglass right there, um, so not pretty, and again, all the floor. Well, the inner sill are gone, so again that needs all rectifying. So basically, this the shell will need the shell will need a full strip down back axle off, fuel tank off. Um, definitely a lot more work to get it solid, but overall the Astra is a bit more easier on the eye uh, regarding repairs that's already been done previously I would say apart from the filler but it's hidden behind the side skirt so which do you which gets your vote then guys the Astra or the Escort comment below what you think suggestions on how to go about this floor on the Escort 
Uh, we can't get panels for it, which is annoying. I'd rather replace them with decent panels. Um, but if I've got to make my own, I've got to make my own. Next video should be of uh, trying to get this running. I've got some drive shafts on the way um, of Alex Fraser, which is ideal, especially if it runs and I can actually move it under its own steam rather than pushing it everywhere. Alright, cheers guys. Thanks for watching.